All right, hello guys and gals. This is Scott from RSMC Outdoors. I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you. I got an ax here from Whiskey River, Tra Art and Trading, and Council Tool. They did a little collaboration. They brought back a uh, little Forestry Service boys ax. We're gonna check her out. I figured for my first video, I gotta have something special. In, this, in my mind, guys and gals, this is special. So we're gonna see what happens here. All right, never mind that, because that's where my address is, and, you know, sorry, guys. I don't like you that much. All right, see what we got here. Nice knife if anybody wants one. Zero tolerance. Find one of these. They're great knives. I'm not sponsored, by the way. This is my first of anything. I'm not sponsored by anybody or anything. If you see me using or uh, drinking, you know, this, this is me. I bought it. This is mine. Oh, boy, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, be smart. Okay. So far, so good. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, nice. And I did order this with, here, get this out of the way so you don't see any of that info, because like I said, you guys are welcome to come over, but after I get to know you. I did get the fancy sheath with it, and I got... The uh, little harness, you can like buckle this all up. It's got like a little split, right? Well, right there's a split. Put the handle through it, hangs nice and cool from your back. You can like carry it like a backpack. It's got the face mask. So far, I mean, nothing super fancy. I mean, it's nice, it's thick, you know, it's riveted. You know, not the, I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the, definitely not the worst I've seen. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's on there. It's good stuff. And that was nicer, a little nicer. It got a welt in it, not super clean on the lines, but like I said, you know, it's mass produced, got to be what it is. A little whiskey, ooh, that'd beat the hell. Probably from shipping. You know, it is what it is, guys. I mean, there's, you know, it's got a big giant steel axe and a little tin thing in there. You know, it is what it is. This is the little can, it unscrews. You know, you take a little rub, rub it on your axe, a little rub it on, he'll probably even rub it on the leather, really. Don't think gonna hurt nothing. That's nice. I think I was coming. Yeah, I knew that was coming. And like I said, that's the guys I ordered it from. They've been great, guys. I've had probably, I don't know, I probably bought not quite 10, I don't think. I've bought, you know, if I'm looking around my little shop here, I've probably a good solid eight, nine, eight, nine axe handles I got from these guys. Outstanding. They they did booger up one. They helped me out. They gave me a little, you know, they worked with me. We got some stuff done. You know, it was, you know, it worked out good. I can't complain. These guys have been outstanding. Whiskey River, guys. This is a Whiskey River and Council Tool collaboration. Council Tools bringing back the, uh, like what they call the boys axe, the camp axe, or that's not a camp axe, but like a boys axe. And it is the forestry service, what these guys used to use. You know, going out scouting, you know, keep light, go out, move fast. Get, oh boy, I got that wrapped up good. All right, and, you know, got some nice stuff there to keep you from slicing the box. All right, I mean, there it is. FS, FSS, Boys X, reissue. And this is pretty much, I think you guys ain't gonna be able to buy one of these now, you know. And there it is. Count the USA, 20. FSS, Forestry Service. All right, check. Oh. Eh, it's sharp, good utility edge. I mean, it's, it, it's not going to shave. You guys can already see I've already done shaved a bunch of hair off my arm. But I don't think this is going to shave. No, it is not. Eh, it's almost, almost. Almost. It's almost there. But, I mean, they also got to ship it. You know, I mean, you can't make it razor sharp and ship it through cardboard and expect it to make it. You you really can't. You know, the grain pattern looks pretty good. Nice and straight. I don't see it terribly, you know, follow it up. You know, it moves a little bit around, but, it, it you know, it's not bad. I know these were painted. This is supposed to have some sort of synthetic wedge. I don't know exactly what it is. Probably some sort of hard plastic. And... It's been, you can definitely tell, it's got linseed oil or something on it, which I believe it is. Of course, you got the, uh, you know, little label there, you know, careful cancer, you know, state of California, or, you know, maybe it causes California to the state of cancer. I don't remember, but one of them, you know, they got to make sure you, you know, understand you're touching deadly stuff. 
<laughs> Not too bad, guys. I, I'm really impressed. So far, so good. Oh, nice weight to it. And, you know, I have a... Just to give you a little size, this is a um, True Temper that I have redone here recently. And it's another boy's axe. And I mean, it's, you know, the manufacturer is a little, you know, it's a manufacturer. I don't know if this is even the original handle. This, I, it came on this handle. I cleaned it up. I put a new handle on, sharpened it, did a little bluing, and that's what we got. So, you know, I mean... You know, the, the hole was there, the crack was there, you know, this is an old axe, that's what it is. The new one, I'm impressed. It, it's got a great feel. It, it, it feels like a good old tool. But you guys, I know those, some of them um, Fisker's axes, they're, they actually got a pretty decent cutting edge. They do cut good. I just don't care for the feel. I like a wood handle. So, I this feels good. This feels, you know... They don't make true tempers anymore. Same thing. This is a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter of a head. I don't know exactly what that's going to translate into. I've used this one a couple times. Now, unfortunately, I work. I live in a subdivision, so we're not going to go out and be able to go and cut a tree down because my neighbors get mad at me over that. They're their trees, and I can't cut it down. So I'm going to have to go up to my buddy's house where we got some acreage, and he's in Michigan, and we can go and chop some stuff up. So for right now, this is the unboxing, and I wanted to show you guys the axe. Again, you know, this is the council tool, USA, you know, 2020. They always give you the year there. At least they have. I don't know how long they've been doing it. But the last few I've seen, last few years, they do put the year when they're made. Forestry service thing. The Whiskey River. You know, of course, you got your stupid warning label. Nice axe. So far, guys, impressive. I will I will tune that up. Next time you see this axe, it will shave your hair. It does look like it's got a little oil on it. Probably keep it from rust and probably a little bit of linseed oil or something like that. I do have some tongue oil that I will use. And this is the stuff I use, guys. Like I said, I'm going to start trying to get a channel where you guys can see what I use. I'm just some humble guy, you know, farting around in his garage, trying to, you know, trying to have a little bit of fun and learning as we go. You know, again, I'm not endorsed. I'm not sponsored. But the real milk paint, these guys have been great with talking to me, trying to help me figure out what I might want for an axe handle. So far, this half and half tongue oil, half, uh, I think it's citrus solvent. It is great. I might even smear a little bit on there. And at the end of the day, it smells like orange. So you really can't, you know, if you like oranges, you can't beat it. It's good stuff. Now back to the axe handles, or the axe sheath. You know, we'll see, make sure that fits nice and tight, nice and, you know. Oop, we don't chop our fingers off. Oh, yeah, that covers it good. Yeah, that was good. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, oh, eh, not a bad snap. Not great, but not bad. Like I said, you got your little points here with the, what did I do? I don't know what I did with it. We'll find it here. I don't know what I did with the little lasso. What did I do with the lasso? But you got, like I said, if I can't find the lasso, I'm not going to waste our time looking for it. All right. So I'll show you guys that on the, uh, the user video because I honestly have no idea what the hell I did with it. So there's the big sheath. And like I said, that little lasso thing will come in there. It'll hang by these clips. You'll have that one end. It'll come over. And then you can wear it like a backpack. You'll be able to string it over your side. The edge will stay down by your butt. You know, this will be up by your hand. Oh, there it is. I see it. There it is. So, again, my good old trusty zero tolerance knife, which I don't think you guys can get these because, again, not sponsored by anybody. I've had it for a long time. It's mine. All right, so you know it's got the fancy, fancy clips. They're nice. I mean, these they're 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 nice. They do spin. Keep you know, give you everything. Make sure you're nice and straight, and nothing's twisted on you. Like I said, oh, probably should be on the other side, but you guys get the gist here. Let me do it. The, let me do it the right way, just so nobody yells at me. All right. So, again, well, you have to actually do it this way. I'm right, sorry. It's my first video. I honestly, truly do know what the hell I'm doing. Well, not really. I am making half of this up as I go. 
All right. There you go. And then the axe can then hang. It won't fall out because it's not long enough. It can't fall out. You know, so you hang that on your back, dangles by your butt, that slides over. You can do it like either a messenger bag or you can just do it, you know, straight up off your shoulder one way or the other. You know, I got a couple point buckle points here. You can adjust it both sides. got a couple buckle points. That's nice. I said it's not super great quality, but you know, it's they're probably like, I think, what is it? Five, six ounce or six, seven ounce leather. It's, it's nice. I don't get me wrong. It's not crap. This is good leather. You know, I think it's actually a little bit better than some of that Grand Force Brooks stuff that they got nowadays with some of their, like their masks anyway. This is, eh, this is probably even to the Grand Force Brooks, honestly. So if you guys are familiar with that, that's about where we're at there. You know, it is definitely not a quick, re, you know, quick draw kind of system here. You know, this is designed to be carried and, you know, you're not going to use it for a weapon. This ain't a tomahawk. So you want to do a little quick with the mask here. I much prefer a snap on the mask, but that's okay. If it gets loose, you know, gets wet, gets loose. Oh, God, get on her. Oh, boy. That's right that way, then. There we go. Got to be smarter than the axe, or the... Smarter than the leather. Let's see if we can get that kind of tight here. They said if it gets loose, oh, boy, that's going to be a good tight fit, too. Ah. Yeah, there you go. And then, you know, you stick it in there, and that, that, that'll hold it. Oh, there you go. Let me get it one more time. There you go. There you guys go. There you go. That is probably how I'm going to carry it most of the time. This is going to be my truck axe, I think. You know, I've been, I got a uh, blue healer. And I, you know, some of the family members, we go together. We go for walks. Sometimes they're county parks. Sometimes they're city parks. Sometimes they're just, you know, honestly, sometimes we're just out in the middle of nowhere. We'll go for a walk. I can throw this in the truck as is. I could take the fancy rig, you know. I'm not saying I'm going to go out and cut trees down, but if there's something maybe stopping a trail or some low-hanging limbs, you know, there's a lot of guys out there on mountain bikes. They don't want to get decapitated or smacked in the face if they don't have glasses or nothing. I think we'll be all right. You know, that'll be great. Like I said, I would like to see a little welt in there, that extra little piece of leather in between the two, like this one's got. You know, that one's got, you guys can see the difference. That one's got three pieces of leather. That one's got two pieces. That would be a lot nicer with this one, especially that you're going to be carrying this one, I think, more and banging it around. You're going to throw that in the truck, you know. The only thing that's stopping it is the friction between the leather before it actually gets to the rivet, and then your sharp edge is in contact with the rivet. Here, even if it is a sharp edge, you still have that little bit of leather, you know, that little bit of leather inside that the edge will come in contact with. So, like I said... For uh, for the first time reissue and, you know, making this available to multiple people, you know, quickly, easily, affordable. And, I mean, hey, there's a company out there, profitable. You know, you can't, you know, you can't fault anybody for trying to make something profitable. You know, a little off on the handle. You know, the cut right there is a little off. I think a little high on that side. You know, nothing that I think is going to, it's not a detrimental. It's not going to, you know. It's going to not make babies cry and dolphins are going to die or nothing like that. It, it feels great. It's just kind of one of those things where it looks like it was cut a little bit high here. You know, nice, good fit. Here, let me get that out of the way and I'll show you guys the fit. Oh, it is nice. That is, that, will, that is nice. Like I said, this is definitely not crap. It is tight and it with the extra holes, it will be nice. So you guys can see. Nice tight fit. I think uh, Council Tool hydraulically seats these. I think they bring the moisture down, then they seat them. And like I said, it's got the painted thing, so that's actually nice. That's going to help keep, you know, the crap, the moisture, the dirt, the cr you know, the junk out of your axe. Eventually, you're going to have to clean that off. You're going to have to clean it because it is wood handle. It is going to you're going to have to do it. You know, you're going to have to put some oil in there. It's going to have to get tightened back up. You know, I would say size-wise, you know, it's a little bit taller. I think it's supposed to be, I don't remember. It's like supposed to be like 20 some inch, 28 inches or something like that. It probably is that, maybe a minus a hair. And like I said, that's the old number for an old, old, uh, old true temper. So, you know, about the same pattern, you know, same style. 
Definitely this one's got a little bit more crisper lines. I know with the forestry service, they were going to a little bit better steel, but again, guys, I'm, 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 you guys could go online and look that stuff up. I'm not going to go and just muddle my brain full of specs for you guys. I, I don't know. I know it's like either they used to use 1040 and then under like 1065 or it's 1055. They're doing like 1075 for these. It's a little bit less than their velvet cut line, but definitely a little bit better than their standard you know, the stuff that you find at the big box stores, you know, your Ace Hardwares, your Home Depots and such. You know, the little cheap Amazon gifts you guys might be seeing for Christmas. A little bit nicer than that. And like I said, this is this is made to the Forestry Service, the FSS. I can't remember exactly how that is. I know it's Forestry Service. You guys will have to forgive me, the guys that are in the know. I don't remember what the second S is or the first S. I don't know how you say it. Forestry Service forestry something service i don't remember i'm sorry but this is made it's not like it's made any better or worse than a standard axe it's just that these guys wanted it to have a certain steel a certain handle a certain wedge you know and that's what it is i got a plum that's over there that has the forestry service stamp i did a forestry service pulaski for my son-in-law and like I said, it's not that they're better or worse than anything else that I have or I have used or I have seen. It's just that that's what they wanted. You know, like this, like your tires, your tire for the mountain of snowflake, it has to be a certain level across the board. And regardless of the brand, that's where we're at. So if I'm the big government buying a certain tire, I want the mountain of snowflake. I could buy any brand. Same thing with this. It's got that stamp. It is at that level. The government can be secure knowing that this is made to their specs. You know, this might even be a better axe. I don't know exactly what the steel are in this one. You know, I know it's an old true temper. It's got the old eye ridges in there. It's a great axe, but it doesn't have the stamps. I don't know what it is. There is no minimum requirement because there's no stamp. It might not be what this is. It might be better, but this we know because it has the Forestry Service Act or stamp on it. Forestry Service stamp. Maybe that's what it is. I can't remember, guys. I'm sorry. But we know that this is made to a certain spec. And nowadays with most of these tools and with Council Tool, Council Tool, the few that I have used, uh, one or I think I've done redone one. They've been great axes, guys. I mean, even a cheap, a cheap one is not a toy. It is not a joke. And it will give you years of service if you do a little bit of your part. You know, they all come with that little stupid rubber jabber here to keep you from, you know, lopping your finger up. But like I said, it's not sharp. But, you know, you put a little edge on there, give her a little love on the handle when you get done using it. You know, keep, you know, keep piling it on. It probably got a few level, few levels on there, a few layers, whatever. But yeah, I mean, all around, guys, let me get this one out of the way. Because that's not what we're talking about. So there it is. You got, you know, made in the USA. And there you go, guys. I know, I don't remember exactly who makes these sheaths for console tool. If it, I don't believe it's them. I believe it was somebody from, I can't, uh, it's somewhere down south, guys. I know console tool, I think, is out of North Carolina. And I want to say they were a little bit, uh, a little bit south and a little bit back west here. So, you know. They're cut. They're not bad. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. These are probably as good, if not maybe a little bit thicker, a little bit nicer than the Grand Force Brooks, if you guys are familiar with those. You know, it's nothing great. It's nothing fancy. It's definitely not handmade. It's made to get them out onto a, out into an assembly line, production line, and, you know, for the least amount of time, the least amount of material for the maximum amount of product. Hey, they're a company and they got to make money too. You know what I mean? We're all trying to make some money and feed the family. So, that ain't too bad. This is definitely a little bit nicer. You know, this was this was a option. This, you got with it, with the standard kit. And then I ended up buying the extra. I don't know if I should tell you the price, so I won't tell you the price. But now I think they're going to, they had like a, like a reissue early order. And then from there on out, I believe that they were going to get a little bit more expensive. So, you know, take that for what it is. It ain't bad. It is well. It ain't bad. It's not that as bad. It is actually a great axe. I'm so far, like I said, I'm impressed for an initial quality, guys. I, I really can't complain. This I think has been a. It looks like a great axe. 
like I said, for a phase two, we're going to have to go up, and I think my buddy's got a tree or so we can whack down, maybe even a green one or a dead one, maybe do a little bit of both, we'll take down a green tree, it is getting December, you know, it is December here in 2020, we'll see what we got, you know, we can maybe knock down a, like, I don't know if it's not dead, it's not exactly green, we're going into winter, but you know what I mean, a live tree, maybe there's one on the trail we can knock out of the way for him for his you know, for his road, his, uh, I don't know what he's got, his lawnmowers, all those other stuff. Maybe knock one down, uh, buck one out that's already down on the ground, see how it does on some good, hard, dry, cold wood. I don't think it'd be a problem. It, you know, and you know, fellas, it, you know, it's great. You can, you can swing like a 20-pound sledgehammer. You could swing a 36, you know, inch axe that weighs, you know, 10, 11, 12 pounds, whatever some of them big boys are. But guys, I'm here to tell you, I'm six feet tall, about 220, 30 pounds, depending on how much beer I had that day. Speaking of beer, you know, again, this is good stuff. That's what I'm drinking. Good stuff. Dog head, dog fish head, dog head. I don't remember. Yeah, there you go. Dog fish head. Good stuff, guys. But, you know, again, however many beers I had that day, you know, give or take a few pounds. This is about perfect, you know. You know, they say about the length of your arm. Well, that's about it for me. You know, I don't need anything that damn long. I'm not trying to compensate for nothing. I think you can actually do a lot of work with a smaller axe. I think you can get a lot more done with a smaller axe. You know, I'm not no, uh, I'm definitely not one of the big names on axes on YouTube or anything like that. I, but, you know, I've cut a few things down over the years. I think a smaller axe that you can swing faster, you can swing more accurately. And I think at the end of the day, that's going to translate to less work, less work at parting on the log, less swings, because you're able to strike more accurately, you're able to strike deeper, and then at the end of the day, you're going to be able to get through that log quicker than if you're using a heavier one. Now, I mean, this is a great place to start, too. If you want to go and start banging around a 10, 12-pound axe on a 36-inch handle, then by all means, go for it. But really, start small, because now I can actually use this in the camp. I can, I can chop, you know, I can get a good edge on it, you know, I can do... Choke up way high, even get up on here, you know, and I can make some feather sticks. You know, I mean, you can do it with anything, sure. You know, you can do it with a big old 36-inch double bit axe that's, you know, razor sharp, you know, big old, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, I can't remember that fancy one, but them real big, uh, real long axes. I'm not on the West Coast, guys. I don't know what the hell you got. The Puget Sound. You can do anything with a Puget Sound as you could probably do with a damn knife, but there's going to be a knife and an axe that is more suited, you know, than... A Puget Sound trying to knock out something in Michigan, you know. So, all right, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick unboxing. I hope I didn't ramble on too bad. You know, again, collaboration between, you know, Whiskey River Art and Trading Company. You know, Council Tool, USA. Everything is United States made, American made. I love that. That is definitely one of my, you know, I love that. I love American made stuff, guys. We don't have enough in here anymore. You know, we used to be one of the greatest in the nation. That's because we made stuff. We quit making stuff. You know, we don't want China. Nothing wrong with China, but, you know, we got to make it. It's ours. We we need it. All right, guys and gals. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too bad. Take care. Have a good evening. Be safe. Later.